day and welcome to Matilda Road. I'm going to be sharing with you my fortnightly Woolworth grocery shop today. It is an online pickup and I prefer the online pickup to save time in the store and I really do think that it saves me a lot of money um, on impulse buys and also because I can pick and choose if I'm on a budget I can pick and choose what I really need in my cart. Okay, let's get started. I'll start here with my bread stash. Um, the children have had a couple of sandwiches straight away after the, um, straight away. Uh, the country split is for myself. We needed margarine, um, sliced cheese and some eggs of course for breakfast and recipes. The two yogurts, I have two children that will eat yogurt for their school lunches, so I'll put that in. Um, waffle cup fries there for a side, for an evening meal. For a quick meal, a cheap meal, um, I have purchased this Woolworths lasagna. I have had that before, we quite like it. We add a little bit of extra cheese and it's okay for the convenience and the price that it is. Cream there, I usually get um, every fortnight for recipes. This time I have purchased um, a few meat items that I don't usually purchase or sometimes you don't see. I've got some chicken um, thighs there. They're not quite what I ordered uh, and Woolworths have substituted those. I've got some chicken drumsticks. You saw the beef lasagna. And I have also purchased a bag of the hokey fillets that are wild caught. Um, I have had those before, a repeat buy. Um, we are quite happy with those. They come, the fillet, each individual fillet um, is wrapped. It's quite good. They don't all stick together in a packet. Okay, now you may have seen um, in some of my other grocery hauls that my children get like a treat, a hot treat every Monday in their school lunch. So I purchased these um, spinach and ricotta triangles for that. I'll cook them on the Sunday afternoon and put them in their lunch for Monday. They're quite inexpensive, $3 I think they are for that purpose. We needed everything cheese. You've already seen the sliced cheese. We've got the Mexican cheese and the grated tasty cheese there. Cream cheese, um, sour cream. I am going to be doing some soft tacos for an evening meal. So that's where the Mexican cheese, the sour cream comes in. Baby Bell. I was lucky enough that I've got these two fortnights in a row because last fortnight they were on sale um, at Coles and I did a small Coles shop. Um, and this week they had a small discount at Woolworths so I picked those up. We were out of our hazelnut spread and peanut butter so I've got both of those. We were really loyal to Dick Smith brand of peanut butter so we're quite sad that um, that is no longer being made. But I've purchased this one, I'm sure somewhere it says on it that it is 100% yeah, Australian Aussie peanuts. So I've, that's why I've got that one, why I picked, chose that one. Now again, if you've been watching my hauls, I do try to purchase items that we use regularly when they are on sale and I will put them um, away in the pantry. I like to have quite a few of our regular items um, on hand and that's the case with the Nescafe and the Milo. I can actually see back now, it's quite useful in my grocery hauls. I think it's six weeks ago that these were on sale um, and I purchased these. Didn't need them at that time and I've just gotten them out I think in the last week to 10 days. Um, so these will go into our pantry for when we do need them. I hate to pay like $20 for that coffee when I can get it now for 14. It's quite a big difference. The Arnott's biscuits are on sale too and these two particular types I keep in our biscuit barrel. All right, a range of snacks. I, I went to the new section on the Woolworths site and these baked pretzel chips came up, sour cream and chives. 
Okay, so Woolworths are telling me that they're new. I haven't seen them before. Let me know if you disagree and if you've been getting them for a while, but um, I'll let you know how those are. Um, veggie straws. And these two things were in that deal that Woolworths run where if you buy two packets, it's $5. So I purchased both of those for that. Um, just plain um, chips there for myself and my husband and the Doritos again, myself. Um, I'll probably share with the kids so. The Twix, uh, probably for my husband and myself. The raspberry tartlets will go into the kids' lunches. I'll divide them up into little snap lock bags, put them into their lunches. At the back there, we've got six litres of ordinary milk and we've got one Zimmel. In my first hauls, we were just experimenting. We had one child um, that was having regular tummy aches and after keeping a bit of a food diary, we drew a conclusion towards dairy um, and that has made a huge difference and I think that's probably six to eight weeks that we've been doing that and it, it, we do think that that is the problem. Now, something out of the ordinary, I've strayed from my regular flavoured orange juice and we've gone for the apple and black currant just for something a little bit different. We do a large breakfast um, once a fortnight um, where we'll have bacon and eggs, sausage and eggs, hash browns, mushrooms, sliced tomato, um, and juice, not all of those things, a selection of some of those things, just whatever we have at the time. Um, and we'll have juice on that morning. So that's what that's for. The mac and cheese, the kids might have that after school, so just a snack or maybe for a weekend lunch, it's an easy one. Um, sweet chili sauce we're out of and some weekend lunches. And I think I still have a bag of wedges the kids can make them themselves for a Saturday or Sunday lunch with the sour cream and the sweet chili sauce and the wedges. This is the Dolmio sauce or flavouring of it that um, I gravitate towards. The extra garden vegetables, I use this in the spaghetti, lasagna, There's something else I use it for too. I'm just forgetting, but it was on sale so I picked that up. My husband mentioned the other night that we used to regularly have beef stroganoff and we haven't had it for years, so I picked that one up as well. Do that during the fortnight. A couple of snacks here. The cream cheese spray we'll have on toast or a sandwich and the um, sandwich stack of pickled cucumber things there, we're just loving as a snack. They're a regular item now. Now again, when I went to that new section on the Woolworths website, these were two items as well and I purchased for you guys. Perhaps you'd like me to check out some of the new items and tell you what they're like. The yellow jackfruit in a tin and the scotch finger salted caramel tart biscuits. They do sound yummy. The yellow jackfruit, I'm a little bit cautious of, but I'm willing to give it a go for you guys and let you know how it is. Okay. Um, gherkins are just a snack and I don't know I see the American ladies with their grocery haul and their coffee mate and I'm jealous I have been to America and I'm jealous that we can't get that type of thing here and I saw I know this has been in the shops for quite a long time but I just decided um, I think after watching the shopping hauls that um, I would give it a go it was only four dollars so it's just a bit of fun really um, basmati rice there in a microwave pouch for an emergency that's not the brand i usually get but my store is running into some um, grocery line shortages again with the um, pandemic so that was there picked it up wasn't a big deal but it's just not the brand that i would normally get um, of the um, basmati rice as you know, I'm loving this gravy and I ventured out into the hollandaise as well to see how it is. We all know that there is nothing like the homemade um, hollandaise or restaurant hollandaise, um, but I'm going to see how this one is. I'm always in search of a quick and easy hollandaise, so we'll see. Um, this cheesy rice is kind of a regular side dish for us or a snack. And the Sour cream and chives pasta. I haven't bought a continental quick pasta side dish like that for a while, so um, I got that as well. 
needed some um, vegetable oil. We love these Woolworths rice boxes. Our one of my daughter's favourites, the butter chicken was unsupplied, but the other flavours we could get, and that um, is one meal a week. We usually have that for if we're out at gymnastics or um, I have another daughter um, who has a part-time fast food job and mum has to go pick her up. So if I'm needing a quick meal or a weekend nightly meal when I'm watching a movie or something, um, we can have that. And I do still have a couple left in the pantry that I can add to that as well for the family. Here are the uh, mini um, tacos or the soft tacos that I'm going to be doing one night. Probably going to be doing gnocchi as well. Tin pineapple we needed. Um, you saw that I bought the chicken legs and the chicken thighs. So I've bought this um, coating. Again, probably it's been an influence from watching um, grocery hauls from America. Some mushrooms, beans and peas for emergencies. When I'm feeling slack. Snack lock bags are usually for the children's lunches. Um, our kitchen tidy bags, toilet paper, tissues we needed. Those toilet rolls were on sale, they were half price. I think they were $4 for nine. I've got two packets, and I think that was the limit two packets. So we've got limits on toilet paper again. I do have one child that um, has this soap free soap um, liquid, so that's for her. Uh, my children are allowed one snack or treat a fortnight, not snack, a treat, each grocery haul um, for a dollar. Uh, and this is what they've chosen here with these chocolates this fortnight. I've got some plastic paper plates there for this season of our lives. Sometimes I just cannot be bothered fighting with the children over the washing up and um, having dirty stuff around. And so it's good to have perhaps a night off and have those paper or plastic plates. Again, the red ones were not what I ordered and they were substituted by Woolworths. I have been shortchanged a little bit there. I think the pack I wanted was 50 and there's only 40 here, but for the sake of you know, getting something in the order, it's not too bad. Um, usual Panadol there and our dog food. She will have half a tin. Um, sometimes she will have table scraps also. Um, we do have dry dog food, which we purchase from a, a livestock supply store. We don't usually get that from Woolworths. Occasionally you might see it. All right, my breakfast section. I am not a morning person, so I'm always looking for um, quick and easy things that I can give the children that they're going to eat of a morning. Bagels is one of their favorites, so that will be once a fortnight with the um, cream cheese spread. The waffles. The two fruits are actually uh, for a breakfast, so I'll put other fruit with those and give those to them. And the crumpets. The crumpets are quite short dated. They'll probably be tomorrow or the next day. The waffles are the longest dated. The bagels in between. And the two fruits will probably be getting towards the end of the fortnight. I do, um, if I have any leftovers from an evening, I do freeze those for my husband's lunches. And you'll regularly see those takeaway containers in my hall or shop. That's what those are for. And these are the vitamins that we regularly get and they were half price this um, fortnight also. So I have picked those up. Okay, let me have a quick scan and see if I have left anything out. Um, I will say that I was a little bit disappointed this time with the online experience of Woolworths. I do understand out of stocks and that we are in a difficult time. Um, but I had um, three items which were unsupplied. 
They weren't substituted. Um, I had been into the store for work purposes the day before, knew the items were there, and I got the notice of the email saying that these um, items were out of stock. I was there 10 minutes after my pickup time. I went into the store and they were all on the shelves. Um, so I do just I do just query that whether they're not looking properly. I did go to the service desk. I was given quite a lengthy story, um, which doesn't um, quite make sense. So I was disappointed with that this week. And I will say it probably is a regular occurrence, um, but I simply go into the shop um, and get the item and, and come back out and it's not a big deal. Except this time, these items were half price in the previous catalog. I had ordered on the Tuesday night and so then when I've picked up Thursday, I can't just go into the store and get those items um, at the discounted price. I don't know if it is a conscious decision by Woolworths not to supply those items or not. And there were a number of other things which um, we couldn't get as well because of out of stocks and I do I do understand that so I think that the chicken thighs were a substitute the plates were a substitute actually the Kit Kat chocolate bars that the children ordered um, were different as well and I feel like there was something else as well oh actually and I've actually called and said that I'm not accepting it I ordered a 12 pack of kids minion mousse, chocolate mousse, you know, you know the type of snack thing that I'm speaking of, um, well there's 12 in the pack anyway and what they substituted me was this pack of two chocolate mousse which doesn't even feed all my children for a lunch so it was worthless to me um, and um, I have returned that. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and for joining in with my channel. I really do appreciate it. If you have any kind comments, that would be lovely. And from my home to yours, thank you so much.